So today, I'm going to be giving you a brief market overview, talk about a few ICOs, a few altcoins, and then I'm going to give you some market news that I feel is super relevant right now. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Crypto Picks. First, let me say thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are amazing, and your support is so very appreciated. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and you're just watching, and all of you smash that like button. I want to say I'm sorry for being gone the past few days. I have been in my Discord every day chatting there, but I've also been spending time with my family for the holidays, and yesterday, it was my 29th birthday. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Anyways, let's get started. So let's begin with the market cap. It looks like we're finally getting back to $600 billion when Bitcoin dropped, dropped pretty significantly and it took a huge chunk of the market cap. Many people jumped out of their alts. I did jump out of a few and were expecting to ride the Bitcoin train, but it hasn't really started yet. So yeah, many people are waiting. Who knows, is it gonna jump up to $25,000 or kind of stay static around in the 15,000 area? I honestly like when it stays static because altcoins push hard. So with that being said, what altcoins have been pushing hard lately? First, we have Substratin. This one has been absolutely beasting it. A couple days ago when Bitcoin hit around $12,000, Substratin was 40 cents with its previous high was about 80 cents, is now $1.20. If you would have bought then, which I almost did, I am so mad that I didn't, I'd be up times three from that investment. That is huge. Also, Binance Coin, this one has just been going absolutely nuts also. If you look at my videos back here, the top coins to hold through 2018, so many of them have already multiplied significantly. Substratin was 11 cents. BNB was $1.82, I believe. $9 right now. Go back, go through that list, check out and see which coins I like, and I think will just grow tremendously more than they already have. 0x is another one that has grown significantly. Bitcoin, significantly. There's so many that have just been doing so good. It's ridiculous. Go check it out. Go see. I'm excited. I want to do a look back kind of compare i'll probably do that a little bit further into 2018 since we haven't even hit that yet again go check out those videos if you're not sure what coins to buy now let's check out a few of the icos that i've covered salpay i absolutely love this company they already have so much going for them they are ten thousand dollars away from their soft cap i was a little worried a couple days ago they were still significantly under but it looks like they will hit their soft cap Super exciting. I'm so glad to see that this company is is able to to make it and I'm so excited to see what they have in store for the future. We also have Covesting. This one, it looks like it's almost done with their ICO. Go check it out. This one is also super promising. Coindash is around 50, 60 million market cap. Significantly worse. At least it looks a lot worse than Covesting. I think this one will easily catch that market cap. Go check out both of those ICOs, both super promising. I have videos on, on them. Go check it out. So I wanted to talk about an idea that has me intrigued lately and wondering if any of my subscribers participate in a master node. If you do, do you know any sleeper master nodes? <laughs> Come to my Discord. We're talking about this also right now. I just set up my first master node the other day for Saga Coin. Where is that at? Right here. It cost me about $3,000 to create this master node, and it was super hard, super complicated. I had to rent a VPS, virtual private server, throw the master node on there, and then allow it to communicate with my wallet on my PC. Now, I don't need my PC to be on all the time. That's why I'm using a virtual private server, but it's so nice to see this reward coming in every day. And again, it has me so intrigued and I want to find more. I think WanChain might be doing a master node. If so, I'm going to try so hard to get enough coins to have a master node. I do want to hear your opinions. Let me know what you think of this idea. There's mnrank.com, masternodes.online, and then masternodes.pro. 
I know a lot of people don't like this, but I do just want to get your opinions. What do you think? You think it's worth investing in them or a complete waste of time? So now let's move on to a few pieces of news that are relevant for today. First article, 2017 was Bitcoin's year. 2018 will be Ethereum's. 100% agree with this. Um, the article kind of talks about how Bitcoin is just so bad, <laughs> which I 100% agree. Fees are ridiculous. It's as slow as AOL dial-up back in the day. Everybody hated that. You're spending the same amount of fees whether you buy a cup of coffee or you send $100,000, which is ridiculous. Also, Bitcoin has been promising scaling solutions to the Lightning Network and have yet to be fulfilled. The author also goes on to talk that Ethereum is doing everything in its power to adapt and scale and that they're already working on privacy and scaling and that they're just so far ahead of all the other blockchains. Which again, I completely agree that Ethereum is just beasting it and that there's such a leg up on the competition that it's almost a sure thing that Ethereum just, that their, that their value pushes so hard this next year. So the next article I have is titled The Death of the ICO and four other 2018 predictions. The author begins by mentioning that ICOs were huge in late 2017, which I 100% agree with. And he expects that to dramatically change in 2018. He expects regulators and authorities worldwide to come to come down hard on fraudulent ICOs, which they 100% should, in my opinion. And then next, he begins to talk about financial institutions will begin adopting digital assets. He basically discusses that countries such as US and China and a few other places are stifling further development of the digital asset market, while other countries like Japan and the Philippines haven't totally embraced it and incorporated it in their economy and regulatory frameworks. And then he ends with banks need a clear guideline from your regulators on how they need to lawfully bank those associated with cryptocurrencies. And then once that happened, we should see a huge push in the market altogether. Now, this third point, I 100% agree with that blockchains will begin to interoperate. And this is why I am so big on the Ethereum Alliance, the big three, Aeon, Icon, and Wanchain. This is their primary goal. Basically, when blockchains are able to talk to each other, it won't matter if you held Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, or Ripple. We should soon be able to make payments to a merchant that only accepts Bitcoin, but be able to use another cryptocurrency in a matter of seconds. So again, the big three, this is why I'm so bullish on those, because I do believe this is the future. And then the other points, four and five, they're not really as important in my opinion, but I will link the article in the description if you do want to check them out. And with that being said, that is my video. We have some market news, a little bit about ICOs, some master nodes, altcoins, and then end it off with some news. Thanks again for watching. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.